Snow is back in the forecast for Central and Eastern Kentucky. Hey there, friends. I'm meteorologist Shane Smith. It is Saturday, January 10th, 2025. A rare weekend update for me. And yeah, I'm partially suited up. No, it's not because of the weather. I actually just got back from a wedding. Congratulations to Xander and Briella. Let's talk about what's going on with the weather tonight. We have got a little bit of rain rolling through Eastern Kentucky tonight and a cold front parked right across central Kentucky and that is pushing off to the east and you notice more moisture building back off to the north and the west. We are going to see a very strong flow off the Great Lakes tonight. You can see winter weather advisories off to our north and to the east of the mountains of West Virginia and I think there's at least a chance that as this cold air moves in that moisture that's coming in from Chicago to Springfield, Illinois right now may arrive in Kentucky in the form of snow, but we got to drop those temperatures a bit. Right now it's 45 in London, and as we take a look at the rest of the state, you can see that colder air is just off to the north and the west. Freezing line still just to the northwest of the Ohio River, but it will continue to dive on down into the mountains of eastern Kentucky tonight. We're going to see those thermometers drop, and by the time we wake up here in London, low 30s, and a few flakes flying and those snow shower chances and maybe even a few snow squalls will continue into the afternoon. Let's show you how it plays out first. Starting off with the temperatures. Watch tonight. This is the wind chill. You're going to notice when we wake up tomorrow morning in Lexington, it is going to feel like 19 degrees, 15 in E-Town, 20 in Paducah, 25 Somerset, and 28 in Pikeville. That cold air is coming in. The actual air temperature is going to be about 10 to 15 degrees above that, but we are going to have a cold driving wind for most of the day on your Sunday. And as we go into Monday morning, we're going to wake up and it's going to feel like the upper teens and low 20s. So as the kids head out the door Monday morning for school, just know they're going to need to bundle up. All right, let's talk about how the snow plays out tonight. Here is the North American Mesoscale model, and it is showing a little skiff of snow coming in with that moisture band I showed you guys back into Illinois. It will continue to dive south and east through the overnight. And notice some of these pockets of deep blue, even some purple showing up tomorrow morning. Those are snow squalls. They're going to be very isolated. Think of it almost like a summertime thunderstorm, but with snow. Not going to see the thunder, but you could have near whiteout conditions under those squalls. And those are going to push southeast throughout the day on your Sunday. The best chance of those are going to be between 6 a.m. in the morning and noon. Once we go into the afternoon, we should see a few lingering light snow showers, and by the evening, I think the snow will taper off, and we're going to see gradual clearing and some very cold conditions for your Monday. The model's not super enthused with the chances of accumulation. Under some of those squalls, we could get a little slushy half inch or so, but you notice most of the models, besides the HRRR, are showing next to nothing. Now, it's showing a little band possibly showing up around one inch snow. Under some of those squalls that is possible, you may get a half inch to an inch, but it's gonna melt quickly. That ground's still a little bit warm from the warm temperatures we've had this week. Here's the NAM model. This is the one I kind of favor the most in this kind of a setup. And it's showing just a general next to nothing with a few spots picking up maybe a coating to a half inch throughout Eastern Kentucky. Okay. That is the short term. Let's talk the long term. Let's go into the new work week. Here's the GFS model. It is keeping us nice and dry Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, a cold front dives in from the northwest, brings us rain showers on Wednesday that could end as some snow Thursday morning as an area of low pressure spins up on the east coast. Still a lot of questions about how this system plays out. But that kind of a setup could sling at least a few snow showers our way, especially into eastern Kentucky. Then we get another frontal system in here Saturday into Sunday. That one may also have the potential of snow. And if we can get an area of low pressure to develop off to our south along that, 
maybe some more moderate snow. We'll have to wait and see how it all plays out. There's a lot of time between now and then. Some of the other models showing a similar but slightly different scenario. Here's the Canadian model. It's not as excited about our Wednesday to Thursday snow chance. It's leaving it more light rain, but then bringing a little clipper system in here on Friday before a second system moves in behind that. We're going to have to see how this plays out. The model's kind of all over the place with how this happens. Now, let's take a look at the chances of snow, at least on Thursday, of at least one inch of snow from the ensemble models. The ensembles take a bigger picture. They take one base forecast. They run multiple permutations and combinations and give you kind of an average. So this is the GFS ensemble. It's showing about a 25% chance of at least one inch of snow in Lexington. Somerset, about a 10 to 15% chance from Louisville down to Bowling Green. But you'll notice Pikeville and Eastern Kentucky, once you start getting into those blues and purples, that's a 30 all the way up to a 50% chance of one inch of snow. The European model, not as aggressive widespread, but is showing a pretty good chance along the Virginia border. The Canadian model, not as impressed. And the uh, MoGreps model uh, says, don't count your chickens before they hatch. We will have to wait and see how those snow chances play out. But right now, I think there's at least a decent shot of us seeing snow Thursday of the coming work week and possibly going into next Saturday, one week from today. Now, the bigger story besides the snow may be the cold air that's coming in with this. Check out the end of the week. Highs into the 20s and 30s, lows into the teens. It's a January Arctic air outbreak. Nothing crazy, nothing sub-zero, but a little below where we should be. We should be in the low 40s this time of year, and we're going to drop well below that as we head into the end of the week and next weekend. So we've been a little spoiled by the warmer weather lately. It's coming to an end, and Old Man Winter says, I am not done yet. So be sure to like and subscribe my page. Follow me here on YouTube or Facebook. I'm also over on X, Instagram, and TikTok. I'll be posting weather updates throughout the week, tracking the chances of snow moving into central and eastern Kentucky and the cold air, and we'll have updates as we go closer to these systems actually occurring, and I'll have an update tomorrow evening recapping what we're seeing for your Sunday. Not going to be a lot, but I at least think we've got the chance of a little bit of light snow. So thank you very much. I'm meteorologist Shane Smith. Take care, stay weather aware, and I'll see you guys in my next forecast.